Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at an app called Discord. You can use it on your desktop, you can use it on your smart device, and it's an all-in-one voice and text chat application. Uh, so let's get started. I'll show you how to download it and install it. Um, let's go. Okay, so if you go to, uh, you can actually just go onto Google and type in Discord, but if you go into discordapp.com, um, you can also find it on um, in the App Store and Google Play Store, and you can put it on your smart device. Um, so here I can download it for, it automatically sees that um, I am in OS X. Um, so I can click on the download and download the image. Um, so basically this is, it's a free app uh, where sort of it takes the place of Skype. Um, and you can see here as they say, team speak. Uh, and obviously it's also a good option um, to get away from say Facebook, Messenger, um, WhatsApp, that type of thing. The good thing about Discord is that you will get an invite to a channel um, and that channel is a lot more private. Um, it's uh, a lot more secure. So uh, it's not something that you're just gonna go in and you're gonna join into these chat groups. You will actually get an invite that will last a certain period of time. Um, you can get into the group that way. Uh, it's really good for gamers. Um, you know, anybody that's playing any online games, it's an area where people can collaborate, they can get together, um, they can share information. Um, even for businesses, if you have a company and um, you want to have, say, an employee area uh, where you add who you want to to your employee group, you can talk about whatever you need to talk about. Um, you can also have sub areas within there as well. So let's say you had one you could have for HR um, and uh, you could have one for support, that type of thing. Um, if you're going to use it for... Uh, say gaming or that type of thing you can also have sub areas where you have uh, you might have ideas that people can share so you have an area for that you might have a support area for that uh, you might have an area um, telling people what you're posting um, up-to-date information that type of thing okay so anyways I have downloaded the um, image here and I am just going to open it and I already have it installed that's why it's put a one beside it okay so um, right here what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put discord into my applications and again I have it in here already so um, I'm just gonna click on replace and it's going to replace the one that I already had set up um, I already have a discord account again it is free um, to get an account so I'm gonna close this and now I have discord installed I will find it here and I will open it up and we'll get the application up and running so this is just telling me that it's downloaded from the internet am I sure that I want to open it and I'm gonna say yes I know it's a secure application so um, I don't have a problem with that. All right, so once you've downloaded and installed the app, this is what you are going to see. Um, so you can create an account for yourself. And once you've created an account, you're going to be able to log in. If you have an account already, you can click on this login here and you'll get the welcome back screen and this will log you in to your account. Um, so I have to remember my information. Of course I'll enter it wrong. All right, so then that's going to log me back in. Um, I have a, a group of friends here that I can chat with. Um, you can find or start a conversation. You can add friends. Um, you can also connect with Facebook. So if you were to connect with Facebook, it's going to show you any friends that are already on Discord, um, like any of the apps do, WhatsApp, that type of thing. Um, so that's going to activate that for you. You can go into your user settings. Uh, you can put two-factor um, authentication on there, which is nice. Um, I use it for a lot of things. I don't actually use it for this app, 
Um, we've got a privacy and safety here. Um, so it allows you whether uh, to pick who's going to be able to message you, that type of things. Authorized apps, if there are any that you've authorized to work with Discord. Um, app settings, so voice and video, so you can set that up too, especially if you're using it for gaming. Um, you can go in to your video settings and pick the camera that you want to use. Okay, so um, I just have mine set to the default that it's done. Notifications, so enable desktop notifications, enable unread message badge, um, just so you know how many messages have been sent since you last went in. Again, you can pick um, your sounds and that type of thing. Uh, games, so if you have any games that are added, um, it will link there to text and images. Um, you can go into here and just do your settings. Um, you can also go into your account. You can edit it and you can change your um, picture and that type of thing. And uh, language, obviously, the streamer mode, enable streamer mode. You can um, see a set of key bind or toggle streamers in the key settings. Um, so you can turn that on or off disable sound. So these are just the basic settings that um, are available. All right, and then we can log out of that. Um, you can also, uh, if anybody mentions you in a chat, you're going to see that information come up here. Um, and again, uh, this is the type of application where you will get an invite to a channel. So um, if you're chatting to somebody and they tell you that they're on Discord, uh, maybe they have a support group or a help group or something like that, you're going to give them, um, or they're going to send you an invite to that certain channel. It will be good for however long. They can have it good for an hour. They can have it good for um, 24 hours. Uh, once you get that invite, just click on it. It will take you into the channel. And from there, you um, can start chatting with people, start adding friends and that type of thing. Okay, so if you get an instant invite to um, from somebody or you want would like to create your own channel, um, you can just click on the plus sign here. Um, and you can either create a new server and invite your friends, it's free, or you can join. You can enter an instant invite and join your friend's server. So if somebody has sent you an invite, you're going to click on join server and you are going to copy and paste um, the invite that you had from that person and then you are going to click join. That will add you to their Discord server. Okay. Um, or you can create your own. So if we go into create a server and let's let's just call this Raspberry Pi because that could be a fun server to have. Raspberry Pi. I can change my region um, to wherever you are. Um, so we'll just go um, US West. No, we'll go. Let's change it. We'll go to the east. Okay. Um, and you can change the icon so you could put whatever icon you wanted there. I'm just going to quickly create this. Okay. So at this point I can invite the friends that I have. Um, I'm just doing this for an example, so I'm not going to do any invites right now. Um, but this becomes the server for the Raspberry Pi that I have created. So now I've got two that I'm a part of and um, I've got my own here so I can have general chats. I can create a new chat channel. Um, so let's call it projects and it's going to be a voice or a, sorry, a text channel. So I can create that so people could come in here and they could put their pro project, sorry, project ideas in. Um, and we could pass information on, share information that way. So um, any groups that you guys can think of, you could have car groups, you could have um, developers groups, you could have um, HR groups, you could have your small business employee groups, that type of thing. So it's a great chat. So you can put it on your smartphone, you can put it on your tablet, you can have it on your desktop. 
um, a great way to keep in contact with people um, very secure so you don't really have to worry about the things you do in Facebook Messenger um, in you know other chat applications that are out there so guys I hope this has helped you um, again this is discord uh, if you have any questions or any comments you can get a hold of me savvytechgirl at gmail.com get me on twitter at savvytechgirl and you can find me on facebook facebook.com forward slash savvytechgirl thanks guys mm -hmm.